let's get to it today. Today, what we're doing is we are. I found this yesterday at the thrift store. It is a GF brand. So, and you, you read on the bottom, it's uh, from GamersFactory.com. USB control stick is what is what that is. And you can still see the uh, Value Village grease paint on there. And that's what we're doing. Is it's, you know it's, it's got your standard two axis. There's actually a third axis right here. Four buttons here. One on one thumb button. One index finger button. We're gonna add it to the game because I expect. I think it's from like 2010. I expect people are gonna run out and buy a bunch of 2010 manufactured joysticks but here's the thing this is the import device I've got and I'm gonna support it it's like the problem is right coming up with where do we put it it's got the suction cup feet but before anything else before, before anything else happens here's okay Uh, I have not looked at the game controller portion of LibSDL for quite some time. And we have a dog in the background. We do. Here's the wiki. Here is API by category, right? Mouse support, so I've, I've got. Ideally, I want to see one of these two. So, in game controller support, so can I? What? Are, I don't want the source code. It's not what I want at all. Support and game controller support. So, game controller support. So what can I game controller? Is there like a get attached? What's up? Let me just check if controller's been open and it's currently attached. No, that's not what I want. Uh, game controller. So game controller open. Okay, so. Here's one of the things is that I'm going to need to see num joysticks. That's all right. Let's see what happens when I call that function during my start. Hit uh, joystick count equals SDL num joysticks. And we're gonna care a bit about that. Once we care about it, once we, once we get to it, well, let's say, does it say that we have one? Twist account is one. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to do a. What I, what I really prefer to do is open uh, game controller open what I want That's DL game controller um, so, well, so naturally if joystick count and zero. Done. Yeah. Controller. Open. 
go zero because why not? And if controller, oop, not in all caps, if controller, steal, and controller, close, and that's the controller, and controller equals no pointer. Yeah, the dog's extra yappy this morning. Okay. So we're going to see. Does it create one? And what does it, does it get from things? So controller. No, it doesn't get anything. So it's not a game controller. Uh, print of stdr stl get error uh, we're also going to free going to free open free open I'm just gonna, I should just show a debug uh, std out should show me right here on one of these panels There's no controller, so uh, five it. And what is SD? I'll get here. Do we have? Nope. All right. Let's continue on. There should be an output window that tells me something. Well, let's let, actually let's let's free open CD out. So you call it out.txt, right? And CD out. Build errors. What's your problem? F reopen S because it's very important. What do you need here? You need standard out, then the file name, then the mode. Oh. Kidook. Stop it, and we're gonna go and take a look and see. Projects 2021, SDL2, SDL2 sandbox. There's that. There's that. Do I have an out? I do have an out. There's nothing. Yeah, no, oh, I got a flush. Remember, when you when you do that. Take you out of here. Okay, so that will have written whatever was going to write. Could not find mapping for device. No, okay. Couldn't find the mapping. All right, so that's that. Well, let's initialize the joystick instead. So joystick count is greater than zero. Then I'm not gonna do game controllers. 
although there's the mapping situation, right? So what do we do to set the pillar mapping? Oh. Controller add mapping. There's a mapping strip. What are what are these things? Okay, mapping. Okay. Okay, so how do we do this? Oh, okie doke. So this might still be a thing. I might be able to still do this through a game controller, but that's more, but I want to see this working. See, I need the encouragement of seeing the thing working. There's a joystick open. So one of the things we need to do here is we need to get ourselves an SDL joystick. I don't have anything else kind of like this, or do I? Yes, I do. SDL joystick, joystick. All right. We have to initialize that to null. And at the end, when we close everything out, when do we close everything out? Updating, 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 updating. Oh, and finish in the finish function finish function if joystick as well this do we could what do we do we say close joysticks joystick close say SDL joystick close joystick and we say the joystick is null pointer again. All right. So that's cool. So okay, we will we initialize that and we clean it up and let's see. Sorry. Equals SL joystick open. So, all right, I want to see right here. I do. All right, I don't leave the free open out anymore either. Uh, what? Build. Rebuild. Okay, now go. Run. Uh, what? Okay, so we have that. Yep. And joystick becomes something. And what's interesting? Out of curiosity. It's just a pointer to something. Righto. So now got the joystick. Um am I getting am I going to get I don't need to free open anymore. Don't need that no more. All right. 
then we don't really have to just say, hey, we got more than one. We got a joystick. Open that. And then, are we getting, do we start to get, um, Ace, SDL, Joy, Button, do we get these? And I'll Joy, Button, Done. Now I'm going to have a handle joy button down, but we have to so evt dot joy dot so jabal no to button, and that's the let's take a look at these events. Okay, so we obviously need a handler of some kind. So here's events, event handling. Uh, joy button event. What's in the joy button event? The type. Okay, yep. The timestamp, yep. The instance of the uh, of the joystick. Alright, that makes sense. Button, the index of the button. And the state. So we just care about um uh, Steel joystick ID. So we have which and button. So this is going to have to take Google and the old joy button down. STL joystick ID and a I think it's just a uint eight. It's a uint eight. That's all that is. Is that I just call this which and button. That's EDT Joy Death. To button dot which and evt dot to button well dot to button dot button what are these what is this thing exactly oh it's a okay that's in 32 it's just a number And just to test it out, we're going to, so when, when we do this, we, we'll just have it switch the door, well, well, let's see what let's see what buttons that it is. Can we can we get a can we get a breakpoint here? Very interested to get a breakpoint. There were build errors. What what build errors? What did I do? Must return a value. It's going to return true. No matter what. And then plus that gives me something to put my put that on. Okay. So we have ah. Oh. All right, which is zero, button is zero. Okay, we'll continue. Hmm. Well, let's, let's have this. So, okay, how about, oh, no, gotta actually, gotta actually have the thing, so, plus. Interesting. EBT. 
button. Date one. Okay, yeah. But now I hit. We don't need you anymore. We need to continue. All right, there we go. I want that one. Oh, it's button dot button. That's not what I want. It's got to be J button. Two button dot button is two. Okay, so I got the right got the right button number. This is important. Let's get what's that guy? That guy is five. So I got one, two, zero, zero, one, two, three, and four. I got so three and four. And I think we're gonna handle in play key down. Okay. All right, I'm gonna quick make these other functions. And I'll in play to a button down. Which that's button, which button, and then in play toy button, and play toy button down. And we always return true. No matter what. Unless we quit the game, unless this causes us to quit the game. <clears throat> so in the case of of this, we restart the game. Oh, gotta put it in. Gotta put it in the thing. All right. Restart. Okay. okay, so now at the very least, whatever button you hit, whatever button you hit, doesn't matter, we'll start the game. So, that, of course, and... Dead. <laughs> nice. Okay, that, that was very, very, very quick. Alright, so... Turn, 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 turn. Dead. Yep. Alright. Now, at the very least, let's make it so that he's basically going to steal this. He's going to wait for buttons three and four. We are coding it just to see it see it happen. If so, there's a witch and there's button. button 
three. Send your left. Okay, button is four. Then go right. We got it. Dead. But that's no good. That's no good. But I don't want that. That's not that's not okay. <clears throat> that's super hard. I mean, okay, it's totally fine. <clears throat> Press any button on the joystick and the game goes. This is this is alright. <clears throat> Hard code and buttons three and four. Not so much. I don't want this happening at all. I'm glad I'm glad that it it works. I'm glad that a eleven year old joystick, USB joystick that I found at the thrift store can can work on a modern PC. I like that. That's great. But I need I need it to be access controlled, so I need it to be back and forth. And it is self-centering, right? And actually I've never played I've never played jet lag with a joystick. I don't think even the original version, because I had joysticks, I don't think I ever I don't think I ever did. So, unevent. Now, I know that there is a case SDL joy axis motion. Return. Handle joy axis motion. VT dot jaxis dot which, naturally. VT dot jaxis dot uh, axis and EVT dot axis dot let me guess value so that's the value so I'm going to need a joy axis motion Bool. Bool. and old joy axis motion still joystick ID Let's find out what these other types are. The axis is a uint 8, and the value is a sint 16. Interesting. Interesting ID with capital B. I don't need I don't know that this doesn't do something later because <clears throat> I think I want to add all my other chats all my bombs and whatever else And we'll say all of these things. But handle in play joy axis motion. Up and we gotta bring it in here. That one's a which that one's an axis and that one's a value. If 
that's the game over. We'll just hit with step of joy and go with X motion. Alright, making those things and it's not button and not axis and that And get back up here. We're gonna have an in-play and a game over. Game over. See right here, the the explosion of this tells me that it needs a state machine. It needs it needs a finite state machine in here. With different different classes handling the thing differently, and a common game state in between everything else that has nothing to do with whether it's game over or not, which is good because now I'm just I'm being pushed towards that. That and that and that. Well, we'll put the parameters in here. Yoink and yoink. Return through. Return through. It does all those things. All right. So now in here and I think, I think axis zero I believe axis zero is going to be we'll go with zero we're just gonna guess that it's zero so if axis is zero um, just very very interested to see what the values are just really like a trace SDL log there's SDL log in there okay An SDL log Access percent D value percent D camera access value. Okay. And then what happens? Is it an output? So where does this go? Where does the SDL log go? Um, where does SDL log go? Let's go to SDL. Let's look at SDL log. And what do you do? SDL log. Yeah. Log input application. To to where? <laughs> I don't, I just don't know. Category log. Oh, the debug. So it should be going to the debug output stream. If I'm getting it. Okay. Ah, uh, I closed it. So 
SDL bug info. I want you to log it, man. That's all, that's all I want. So does it is it doing things? Is this happening? No. So it's not even getting called ever. Does this ever happen? Is this happening? Oh, that's in play. Of course, not in play because I'm at game over. Silly me. All right. So let's get it logging with when the game's over. So what's happening here? Access two. Access one. Let's access two. So it goes all the way from minus 20,000. Well, that's fun. Calibrating joysticks. <laughs> it's not it's stupid. All right. So. Oop. Dead. All right. Let's make it only log for access zero. And we're only going to do this. Well, we'll do it the whole time. doing it's weird so it should only be dealing with <clears throat> so what other information do I do I have with with these things So if I do this, right? These two and three first buttons, yeah, that's true. So I have that and I have that. So really can I, <clears throat> so what I want is I want a visual indicator of um, where the joystick is. Okay. So whenever I update, or whenever I draw, here's draw. I'm going to draw right here. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an SDL. So if joystick. Right, then still get joy or joystick get 
axis. So I stick zero. Uh, and you are a set 16. Set 16. I don't need you to be up here. I don't know why you're up here. Sint 16 value equals that. And then uh, I'm going to have these thing, this thing be 8. So I'm going to SDL right RC. Equals. Start with start with zero zero and I'm gonna do constants cell width and constants cell height. Point even better. I need to draw a color, right? Draw. So I can do I could do this with X and Y so I can get a good idea of what I want. Let's get joy one. Get axis one. Get the draw color. Get main renderer. And what color? What color do I get? A green? I'll get green. Zero. Two five five. Zero. Two five five. <clears throat> So it is so I have to divide by X divided by constants window with two divide it by that. So it's gonna be float. I have to do this has to be done as float. not true. It's x let's just x and y. Let's calculate it right here. Okay. We calculate it right here where this has to be an int. Yeah, these are ints. Int. So we take this as a float. Divide by three two seven six eight point zero f. That is what we're going to do. So, gives me a number between between zero and one. I'm going to multiply it. By float um, constants window width of two. Int. 
It's ugly. This is ugly. But it's for great justice. Int. And plus. down here. Not a great joystick. It's centered really well. So it goes all the way that way. It does go kind of all the way that way. Not really. <laughs> Hold up and down and go up. It goes mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Not exactly the most precise thing ever. So I wonder if it's if it's something where it kind of okay, so it'll go all the way over that way. So here we are. So that isn't that much of a. It's gonna suck. <laughs> That's what. Game controller would be so much better, but this is what we've got. This is what we've got. What? See, I'm, I'm willing to bet. Uh, whoever, so I got this for for a dollar, so it's fine for um, for what it is, right? All right, so now I'm gonna say, okay, if we go here, and here's. What we're gonna do with it? Handle in play joy axis motion. So if axis zero, then if value is less than minus one six three eight four six three eight four. Say less than or equal to. Else, if value greater than or equal to one six three eight four, then uh, this is going to be so the next direction left. So be right. So now, so now, here we go. Well, turn, 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 chop, turn, turn, turn. Oh, it's not great. Turn, turn, chop, turn, 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 chop, turn, chop, turn, 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 dead. Ugh, not, not good. This is not good. Right. Yeah. Now the suction cups are old and lousy and crappy, but all right. So here we go. Here we go. Oof, let's get this. Uh, yourselves turn to a point where you can move. Test, test, test. Can you still hear me? All right. All right. So here is Mr. Joystick. Here we are. This is the. This is the full-on experience of. Uh, play the game with the joystick so here it is it's now a joystick cam oh it's it's interestingly positioned so here we go turn 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 chop turn 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 
turn, 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 Jump. turn, dead. Yeah, so not can't play it nearly as long as with keyboard control, but supports supports joystick supports joystick. Oh yeah, and we're gonna commit that right here. Supports joystick. Yeah, man. So I'm wondering if the game controller section is it would be any better. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay. So that's that's a fun magic number. Okay. So well, that that's a thing. Turn, turn. Turn, 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 Dead. All right. Well, so <laughs> joystick support. That is an absolutely awful joystick. But for a dollar. Because how much how much do it cost me to get a uh, nose game controller? Because I'm gonna look in here. Uh, we'll look as the grumpy game dev. All right. Windows game controller. A wired game controller for thirty-two dollars. Ooh. That's well, that's one of those you can pay as much as you want. So, we also have this wired one. I don't want wire, I do not want wire. I want wires. That That is, this is oh. Oh, 14. Oh. The Plazitation, for, for those of you who wish to play on the Plazitation. So the D-pad's up here, but that's fine. Buttons, yeah. Oh. And Windows. With dual vibration and ergonomic wired game controller black. Okay, I think this this might this might be our guy. Our guy. Ooh, I might get it today. Well, let's let's put that off on the side there. Sixteen dollars. Oh, okay. No, that's for okay. Oh. That looks awful. Okay. I think that's going to be about the best I'm going to do right there. That's our guy. I can get it today. You want it today? Have it today. But let's go back over to me. Get that thing. My 
orders. So I got some to be today, delivered Friday. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, okay. So, yes, it was. It was also delivered Friday. Check package. Where's that? Also there. Okay. So, I've had it. Huh. So, they're there. Okay. Well, then. Add this to cart. Point seven five meters. All right, so I can sit. Okay, so I can have it over here. All right, I'm getting this. I'm gonna buy it. I'm buying it. Cause I want it. Cause we want it. Give me that. There we go. I'm buying it. I bought it. Bought it. Tomorrow. So it's tomorrow. That's fine. Whatever. But as with most things, you can pay as much as you want for a game controller. <clears throat> so yes, I've got got joystick support. Joystick support. <clears throat> And we'll have it fall back. So really, um, what we're going to do here? Well, we'll do that. We'll do that when we have the thing. So it should be here tomorrow. And so really on Tuesday. So it'll it'll support either a joystick, a lousy lousy joystick, or a game controller. So the the next little thing, and then there might have something to do with options. But you know what else? Okay, so I've got like a sound manager doodad thingy that can be factored out of here. And that sound manager can certainly uh, wrap this stuff up. So that's a that's what we're going that's what we're gonna do next. Adding a new class, and I'm just going to call you uh, Sound Manager. All right, and we are going to say because, like in here, what's what's my this is going to be a common thing. This is common, so it's getting developed in here, right? But it's gonna, it's gonna be out. Okay. <clears throat> Class sound manager. Sound manager. Oh, blank, whatever. Um. <clears throat> gonna start out with nothing. So what do we start out with? What do we need? What things do we need? We need, obviously. Some of that. I need some of that. I need one of those. In order to have one of those, right? I have to include map. Can I have map? I have to include um, SDL mixer. I think that's what I what I have to bring in there. SDL mixer, yes. SDL mixer has got to go in there. mixer and we need string so we have that we have <clears throat> I 
I think what we're going to do here is we're going to have a void function called finish that we call. I don't want to. I don't want to rely on the destructor for this because I might. Because actually, I have things uninitialized. So I deliberately want to say I'm going to clean up. So that's that. That's finish. And so. Okay. And finish. So sound manager finish. What does it do? What does the sound manager finishing do? It does the exact same thing that this does. Right here. And then in addition. What we call it? We call it sounds. We do call it sounds. Okay. So sounds clear. I mean, it's emptied out. So now we're purged. Good for us. And but so the thing that I do want to decouple here is I want to avoid and sound. Const std string. That's the name. And const std string. Eh, that's the file name. And I want these things separate. Okay. So string you are the name and you are the file name. Now in the case of what I'm doing I'll just say the name and the file name are the same. I'll just pass them pass the same thing twice. That's fine. And so now I do so if So I have so the very the very naive way sounds name equal Vix. Where's the where's the let's go to start. Start tells us that we want mix load wav that. Oh okay. Mix load wav, but we have the file name. Easter. Okay. So that's fine. But we have a couple of things. So one of this returns can this return null? Or yeah, I think you return null. So what we have to do is we have to say if sounds contains is it contains? That contains Uh, name. Then what I have to do is um, no, not really, right? Let's be naive. Let's be naive about it. But put a to do. Let's to do. What if the sound has already been? Yes, sir. Leak. So that's a leak. So don't do that. So that frees all chunks, and then we want to. I don't think it needs to be called add sound if it's in something called a sound manager. You just add the sound. <clears throat> can then void sound manager play because has to be string eh. Eh. so that's the thing that we want it to do void play let's do 
std string reference. Great. So in the sound manager, the play function will be what this is. Where's my, here's play sound. What does play sound do? And uh, I don't have those things because it doesn't know what these are. So keeping here and not wishing to push put a dependency on. on anything. That's a minus one and that's a zero. So that should that should compile no problem. So that's what those are. Sounds at name. Okay. But so we now have all of the, now all of the ownership of loading and saving the sounds is is in here in theory right <clears throat> and we should run and it should it's not being called yet so so it doesn't matter Dead. okay so I added the sound manager component And so now the sound manager needs. So I needed here. These are my sounds. I don't need. Don't need a map. Don't need the sounds. The sounds are going somewhere else. I'll include sound manager. And I think. I think I can actually just have an instance sound manager. Oh, we got to do it. T G G T G D common sound manager sound sound manager. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. So we have to initialize that thing. And tell the sound manager. We just make the thing. Okay, sounds is gone. And we see, instead we say sound manager dot add. Jump, jump. So they're both the same. Death. Yeah, turn. So I don't need. So this doesn't need to do what it does. However, we do need to say sound manager dot finish. That's cool. So yeah, we got something else here. We have, we have play sound. So we're gonna say if the if we're muted, then we're just saying sound manager play. And so now we have um, we have a thing. Space Dave, what's going on, Space Dave? Welcome to the channel. About to see if moving everything around is going to work.
And we'll even we'll even use we'll even go joystick style because it's joystick day. It's joystick day here in the Grumpy Camp. Turn. Yep. Turn. 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 Chop. Turn. Chop. Turn. Turn. Chop. Dead. Ugh. Think about a way to generate a roguelike map. Gen generate a roguelike map generation. Rogue. Yes, but how are you going to generate it? <laughs> but yes, okay. Overused words are overused. We get it. Okay. Um. Well, there's a number of different approaches. I always go with just generating a maze, personally. Um. Other people do things differently. Uh, the uh, traditional, the uh, well, the old, the old, the traditional roguelike was it was doing rooms and in Unity using tile maps. See, and that's where uh, well, you could you could do it. This is this is where the use of for me this is this is high. The following is my opinion. Uh, Unity blurs too much between. Uh, the thing that's rendered on the screen is the thing in the abstract game, which I've never cared for. It's not. It's not a way. It's not the way that I develop. Because actually, even even in this game, as simple as it is, there's no time lap. There's 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 uh, the values. See the 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 tail is all right here. The blocks are all in. There's just this, really the whole game state is these three arrays, and then the draw function is what translates them. But so that's that's how I do it, and then the draw function redraws it. Uh, but in Unity, Unity is basically a scene graph, so it goes no, you just attach your the state of your game object to the thing that gets drawn and I I I can code that way but I find it frustrating but other people are like well your code for what it is is over here and your drawing code is over here and some people find that frustrating and unity is quite popular and it does get things done quickly so Yeah, uh, it's, it's yeah a tile map would would do it because it is it gives you more state to work with. It's like okay, tile map. This tile is floor. This tile is whatever. But you still have to have some sort of mapping for this particular tile means this and this particular tile means that. And where do you store that? Is that in a lookup table separate from the game? Or separate from the tile map? Is it is it there? And so that's just depends on what you like. Thanks for the follow, Space Dave. Space Dave Leet. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't even know. Let's let's. I'll, I'll take a look at the Unity Unity Tile Map. Unity Tile Map. Because what does it tell me to that I can do? So it's got that stuff. Tile assets. It's placed on. It. And other related components in the tile map collider. So you have a tile map renderer to render your tile map. And blah blah. Okay, options for configuring it. And then what do we have for tile assets? So the tile asset. Yeah, so attaching attaching the metadata. Yes, I know what leet means. Yes, took you three years, three whole years. They, I suppose, I suppose it has forgotten. I suppose the internet has forgotten because it happened more than three minutes ago. Yes, we are leet. Pack. 
Uh, but no, I know during 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 the time of the lead hacksaws. I am old. Actually, really, you would say te te lead hacksaws. Te lead hacksaws. Actually, I can put a five instead of instead of the s. My apologies. I speak with an accent. Well, you know, it was <laughs> Space Dave 1336 was here just the other day. How many Space Daves are there? <sighs> lots and lots of Space Daves. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, isn't it great? It's really good. It's obnoxious. Wow, it is it was really bad. Turn, 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 turn. Dead. It's the best. It is the dead. It's the tone. It was just really that dead. Managed to capture that yesterday. And get that in there. So it's one of the other things that's another thing that I okay. Let's where are we at? So everything is over in the sound manager now, I think. Moved sound loading and playing into the sound manager. You know, when I go to other people's channels, right? Um I'm the grumpy game dev, and the reason the reason that I that I call myself this is at some I can't hide. I cannot hide that uh, I've got some set in my ways kind of old old uh, I'm 46 so middle more you know middle age ideas and attitude towards things and so at what what this what this evidence itself as is uh, being seeming a little grumpy really I just jaded been, been around long enough to just be disappointed by the world and you know, it evidence is grumpiness so what I do is I advertise it as part of the name the grumpy game dev so that when I'm a little bit grumpy you're going to be a little more forgiving of that because you well he is the grumpy game dev so we should not be surprised if he does something grumpy but I go into people's channels, like, the grumpy game dev, why are you so grumpy? Don't be grumpy. It's like, Ugh. and you know, that makes me grumpy when they tell me that. And a lot of times I don't stay in those channels because there's a, there's a high energy, really peppy, boy, oh boy, things are great. No, I, I'm not grumpy only. Same. Even grumpy people laugh from time to time. I'm just saying, here, there's grumpiness here. But I'm not the chuckle. See, if I'm chuckling, and that's and that's the other part is, if I'm grumpy, you're expecting I'm grumpy all the time. But so this is what it does. So I go, it's the grumpy game dev, and and you go, oh, he's grumpy. He's just gonna be grumpy all the time. And then I'm not grumpy, right? Some of the time, depends. And you're like, well, he's not that. He, he doesn't seem that grumpy. But when the grumpiness does show up, then you're like, oh, oh yeah, he's grumpy, right? That's why they call him the Grumpy Game Dev, even though most of the time he's not grumpy. So don't worry, it's 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 real advertising, but it's it give it gets me 
permission to be a little grumpy, but it offsets. It's offset by the fact that most of the time I'm not. And then there are some streams where I'm just grumpy all the whole thing. Yeah. But yeah, okay. So I think what I want to do is I want to move my mute state Oh yeah, I got it. Ugh. Like I say, my back is hurting. You know what? I'm on a bouncy ball, so I'm on. I'm on one of those uh, yoga ball, isometric exercise ball things, and my back is hurting anyway. But <clears throat> it's hurting way less on the bouncy ball. But yeah, getting the getting the the ab muscles to do what they're supposed to do while my back is hurting a little bit is a is a thing. It's a thing. So what do we need to do with muted? So we need to be able to set the muted. We need to be able to set it. Void. Set mute. Cool. Um, I don't think we I think it matters much. Uh, yeah, I would, I would, no. See, I may have a, I have a bad back, but I also have bad knees. So standing all the time is no good either. I could, but you're right. I could. And hey, that's const, const. That can be const. Go get them. About 10 minutes, it's time to attempt to wake up someone because they then have half an hour to get ready to go to work. Is that muted? Okay, so that does muted. So muted. New value. And return. Muted. Okay. Boom. 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 Okay. So the muted is. I'm moving. I'm moving the muted. Turn. Turn. Because right now. Dead. dead. So I hit it. It's now muted. So now no sound at all. Turn, turn. I can, so if I can turn, 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 turn. Dead. So now there's that, and I can also do it if muted. Yeah, muted. If not muted. Then I do that. I remove that from here. You did. Bada -bada it is 5.51 a.m. So 0551. So it is nearly 6 o'clock in the morning. Options muted equals sound manager. Excuse me. Sound manager. But a but a Yes, I am. I I am in a place 
called Magical Mystical Place called Wisconsin. Here's Wisconsin. I am here. Round about, round about this part, but I am here. That's where I am. Where might we find you, Space Dave Leet? You over here? You over here? Maybe over here somewhere? Silent. Well, I can actually just do that from here, so. Oh, Germany, okay. So right there, I have, okay, so then it is um, plus set. It's hard when it was no longer daylight saving time. So either plus six or plus seven. So it's either noon or one. Or it's either 12 or 13. Because I have a friend who lives near Cologne. And yeah, you're you're right in the zone of the of my of my peeps. My peeps are here. People in Belgium and Norway. So yeah, they you're right there. Yeah, yeah, plus seven. Because over here in Manchester, it'd be plus six. So over here, plus seven. So that makes the sense. So silent. So and right next right next to Luxembourg. That's interesting. But anyway. Globus Losheim. Well that's fun. Oh, okay. Yep. Can't say as I've. Hey, it's Gamer Robbie. It's Gamer RP. Yeah, we'll go with it. With... Hey, the Mercer. What's going on, Ace Gamer Robbie? Welcome to the stream. We were just talking about places that are that were right now. I'm doing all right. I got my got my joystick. I got my uh, sup Ace. I just got my. This is a. I picked this up at. Depending on okay, I call them thrift stores. Where you're at, you may call them charity shops, or whatever. But I picked up this uh, joystick at a charity shop and I've been incorporating it into my game. Thanks Ace Gamer Robbie with one viewer. And Fuel's here. What's going on Fuel? What's going on Fuel? We've got th and thank you for the subscription Fuel. Yeah I was gone for a while. Now I'm back. In one minute after I get through this refactor, because I just moved something, I will I will show this. You know what? I no longer need play sound, so I'm actually going to kill it. Who's who's gone? Who's gone, fuel? Who's gone? And remember, summer 2020 was the was the uh, summer of love. And that was it. There was there was no. That was it. There was a. There was a thing that happened, and it was a magical time. I don't need my place on anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think, okay, a lot of people, this, okay. I had some personal things go on right around the time that I stopped streaming. Uh, mostly, uh, and, and so, there were, there was, and, and plus, uh, holiday things and there have been other stressors in in life so I'm like you know I don't I don't need I don't need this anymore okay I think my building is a building I want because I want to show this before I go and wake up wake my wife up up am I muted still I might still be muted I need to unmute turn there it is turn turn chop turn chop turn. so this is what I'm working on chop, turn, turn. Chop, 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 turn, chop, turn, 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 chop, turn, 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 chop, turn, chop. Okay. I gotta be right back because I have to wake someone up. Oh my goodness! Thank you for the follow, Ace Gamer Robbie. Now, also this, uh, if you're if you're running a Windows computer, and we're gonna look for the grumpy, grumpy, and find me. Come on, find me. Uh, do I have it as the grumpy game dev? There's some places where there we are. The grumpy game dev. There is a version on itch. There's a version on itch, and it's Windows only. I yeah. Send your send your send your complaints to my trash can. It could be built for Linux. I'm not choosing to spend the time on that right now. So I gotta, be, I gotta go. I gotta be. I, I'm not. I don't have to go. I will be back, but I have to go see somebody. I gotta go wake somebody up. So time for my AFK. Enjoy the song.
So that the lucky charms. But first, gotta check in. Gotta check this in. Or right, uh, commit anyway. Not to check in yet. So do we have full functionality here? Okay. Yep. Okay. Mute it. Dead. If I stop it, restart it. Okay. And great, mute, unmute it again. Turn, turn. There we go. Oh, good. Pretty simple. Great. So now all muting ones are now completely in the sound manager. So now what I want is a uh, countdown timer. Oh, first, but first, because this is this is not DL2 common common CPP. Oop, make another one. So unfortunately, the sound manager, right? So the sound manager is something that. Um, let's go to, let's go to sandbox, sandbox. So the sound manager can go take that one and that one. And that's where they go. And then I remove them. Okay, I've, I've got everything checked in, I've got everything committed. So I'm even really going to push at this point.
because that's a good place to push. I'm going to remove the sound manager from here. I'm going to delete them from here. I'm going to add them to add existing item over from common CPP. Sound manager and sound manager. Now, this won't quite work. And in addition, I've got to get status, get add a, get commit minus m, added sound manager, get push. So common the common stuff, which doesn't doesn't change all that often, is now elsewhere. But so, and right now, this is going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't find the sound manager.h. Because it says, I don't know what you're talking about. Because that stuff is over here. So now everything should work and be okay. Yeah. Turn, turn, there we are. Turn, 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 Great. Jump, turn, jump, Great. turn, jump, turn, 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 jump, turn, dead. Right. That's good. And changes are moved. Sound manager into common CPP area. That out of there now that's reusable. And now really it's down to Okay, so now do I ever there's a, there was a constant about initial initial something. Initial values, initial muted. Find all references. Do we have any more references? Find all references. There is nothing. So, is if I get rid of that, so yeah, all right. Great. I think it's going to be about time to split out these constants files. Yeah, there's too many. There are too many. What do we have here? Yeah, we have over 100 lines. But I may need to reorganize them first. Because which things are game based, which things are renderer based. That's certainly renderer based. Yeah, we got a long way to go. But one of the things I want is a I want like a utility thing. It's okay. I don't care for this at all. This is this is awful and atrocious. So what I want here is I want a utility class. So what's different about constants now? Oh, got rid of muted. Uh, muted constant. So there it is. So what I want is a random utility. I don't. Or just utility. We'll start with just utility. And 
and add a class called utility. Because of course it is. Class utility, I'll have public. And we will say, this needs to be an int. Maximum. Call for range. Int, int. Static. Int. So there's that. Now we're in utility. We have utility that. Minimum and maximum. We return Rand. And we need Rand. Where is Rand? Is Rand in Studlib? I think it's in Studlib, yes. Okay. No, maybe. Go to the definition. Go. There it is. Alright. Good, good. Rand. That and that's maximum minus minimum plus one plus minimum. And so that is what I want to do here. I'm going to bring in. Nope, not sound manager. I don't care about sound manager. I care about this. Blah. Um, include, include utility. Rather than this, because look at that. Look at how awful that is. Utility. Generate random from range. Minimum because you have to look at that code and just it's the gobbledygook. what it wants to look like. There's another spot where I got random, so random. I think the question I have to update blocks. Yeah, there it is. Make sure these things work. Boom. Turn. Turn. And it still works. So, yeah. good times. Okay, moved RNG into utility class where it ought to be. So I think I want, I think I need to move game data just a little bit at a time. <clears throat> yes, I do need game data. I need a game data class, so we're going to add a new class called game data. 
is going to we're seeking to encapsulate things. So here's good old game data. It does absolutely nothing to start with. But we know that most of this stuff <clears throat> so game data. we need to include game data. This should tell me, hey, include game data. Hey, we figured it out. Good job, IntelliSense. Or IntelliCode or whatever you're calling yourself these days. Save it and it'll know. This figures it out even more slowly than F sharp did. Good times. I build, it'll go, oh yeah, there's totally a game data. Maybe. Maybe not. Even if I reopen it, did you find it? You found it. Alright. So here, that's the sound manager. I'm gonna put a little space here for the ones that we know that we need. So game data. So there it is, game data. We have initialized game data. What can we move over first? All right. Because really the whole thing has to do with all of my data here. The stuff that it kind of all goes in at once. All right. So I got this. So the counter, though, is a timing thing. So it's really all this stuff. Not this. Not you. Not you. You are... It's really... Okay. Added a place into which I shall move all game data. There. So, do we still run? We should still run, I just moved the lines around. But, uh, let's find out. Turn, turn. Yes. Great. Dead. Cool. So, for the next bit, This also could counter the direction game over score. I don't think game hmm, game over. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Score the run length. Everything. Everything. Take you out. Yeah, here we go. And, and now the race is on. The race is on. Gonna need vector. Everything else is built in type, so everything else is fine. Um, and now everything's broken. Everything, everything is broken. So we have all these. So I'm going to need my constructor. Data. So here in game data, there's those. Okay, we need constants in here. I don't 
view. Oh, new view. So okay, got all that. Which means I take it out of here. All right, what does this thing do? This sets a next direction. I think I mostly have to take this function. Hmm. And put this into game data. Does it need a sound manager? Do I do I take the sound? Do I do I give it the sound manager to the game? I don't think I like giving the sound manager to the game. What I think I prefer doing so we have a cassette next for text bool. Calculate score from run lengths is a thing that I'm going to need. Calculate score from run lengths. You are just completely gone here. You are right there. So that's all fine. Return true. Go back over to here and we say without too much. So if game data dot that next direction, next direction. You play the sound. So and I think this is one of those things I just need to expose at least temporarily. Cool is game over const game data I gotta make sure that okay I've got to be right back Do it, 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 do it,
This stuff moved and back to a working state. Game over. If not game data. No, just game data. Just game over. So update tail has to move into game data. Void update tail. Oh, I don't have a okay. Ooh. Game data is game over. Const return game over. Void game data update tail. That's not const because it isn't. So we take that and we move it over to game data. Boom. So that's great. We move update tail out of here. That's saying, hey dude, this, this ain't a thing, so get rid of the thing. So pretty much all of the update functions pretty much all of those go in there
Huh. Which wrong is going to be a different sort of thing. All right, so we got some we got some work to do. But what we're going to do is all of these update things go over here. We're going to game data anyway. All right, and take you out of here. Update board update. Game data. Game data. Okay, so I need a way of delivering back I think I might want to land. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> yeah, how do we notify? How do we notify these other things? So I need utility. Okay, so there's a bunch of. Okay, so that goes away. This goes away. Actually, I think I need this one also. That one goes over here. Let's see. Okay. And we don't have the update function header yet. Update. Oh, we just need one. I did update pickups. Function of supports update pickups. Oh wait, that's on the like the bottom. Update pickups is like way down here. Okay, so all of the things are updated here. What I need is a way of saying this here's some some sounds, I guess. Okay. And I think I want that with Heh. Well let's get it let's get it to building here, because that's this is a Let's say to do. Okay. I don't yet have the mechanism by which I want to do that stuff. Okay, so now everything is in Let's have a get tail size. Let's have a all this other stuff, right? Um, int get tail length cast. Return, return, tail, size. Okay, so then we can go over to here and get, get uh, tail. Int, get tail position, int, plus a const. 
Yes, it. Yes, it do. Okay, we are going to return tail and row. row. Right on. fix it okay so that's uh your game data dot get tail length anytime there's that Character game data get tail game data get tail position at the row. Position. Get tail position. Okay. Yeah, that's long and awkward and repeaty. So, let me get rid of that in a minute. What we're going to put in here a game data is dead. Here over in okay, data is dead cast return dead. Game data is dead. Then do that thing. All right. It's going to be constants um, board. No, not block. Board. Board. Rows. So that takes care of that. So over in here, we need a int get block out const I mean int get block position int const so we need these so this stuff over here gets down to here Position at the row. I need score. 
a score is an important thing, and I'm going to need to expose this here. Int get score const. Game data return score. Build it. Score. Is it not declared identifier? Yes, it is. Game data. Get score. And we'll do it again. Okay, if game data. Game over. Then do that. I think reset is part of game data. Pretty sure it is. All this junk, right? And also restart game. These both. So reset and restart. We'll start over here. Reset and restart. Take that. And it goes over to game data. And that. Uh, reset and restart. Take that. And move it over to game data. That's CPP. And you are called game data. Boom. And draw pickups. Okay, so this I need another one of those thingies. I'm gonna say game data dot restart game. Game data restart game. Yeah, game data reset game, which is different. Slightly. Okay, so I'm going to need the pickups thing. So get, get pick up count. goes and got to get over here we're very very close um <clears throat> game data dot yeah, pick up count game data get pick up position row and there it is Some it doesn't like this, but I don't need it any little bigger than an int, so we're just going to cast it. Oh, that's in that's in other people's code. We don't do that. Update int. Oh, no, we do need an update, don't we? Oh, 
deployed gently. Let's just grab you. Eight milliseconds. Game. Ugh. Game. There. Game data. Update. Milliseconds. Not draw back right now. You're update. You're called update. How are we doing? We're a little bit better. Are we running? We're not going to get any sounds for death or for... Because we won't get a dead. No. Because. Because. So I have to make a decision. So okay, it works again with the game data in its own zap over at class. But what we don't have is any method of sending an event. So I think if I make my game data Here's the sound manager. So if I bring in a const sound sound manager I would need one of those, which means I would need one of those. Sound manager. man good old send man so what if instead of me returning that I just say okay that's fine up puppies we got to get through this and then we got to get Let's avoid. Doesn't return anything. Sound. Up. Uh -huh. So I need my play function needs to be sound manager. Play needs to be const. Sound manager play. Does need to be const. Can we do it? Blah. Uh huh. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure this out. In any case, I've got a dog, got a dog barking. I'm probably going to figure this out off stream, but I got to I got to get going. Nope, I don't want. I want here. I got to get up. I got to get I got to get going with other things of starting the day. Puppies will only not do stuff, but for so long. What what is he doing? Okay, we got grass. He's burbing. 
Whereas... What the heck do you mean? Tim is present, so... Looks like you win, Tim. Looks like Tim wins. So, thanks so much for hanging out. We're now going to go over to Tim Bowditt. Because that's what we do here.